I can usually have some pretty silly, stupid, horrible, disgusting nights when I'm drunk. Uh, so I thought I may as well do a video and tell you some of my life experience on why you shouldn't get as pissed as I usually do. It's not the fact that I go out and just in plan, like just plan to get intentionally more pissed or anything. It's just the fact that once you start drinking and you think, oh, I'm fine because you can't admit to yourself you're a wreck, then you decide to drink a little bit more than you actually should, which is something nobody ever should do because it gets you in messes like I've been in. And uh, in absolute honesty, I don't recommend drinking to anybody. It's not that I drink on like, It's not like I drink it for a habit or anything like that. It's I I I don't. It's it's just more or less the fact that once you start drinking and you want to enjoy yourself even more because you get to the point where you're enjoying yourself to the peak of enjoying yourself, but you don't realise that and you just want to enjoy yourself more and more, and that's when you end up being sick in a fucking boggy toilet. So the first time I ever got drunk, I was camping out with my mate Josh, and we decided because we just turned 13, we may as well. Uh, go and steal some shots. So we went and stole some shots, not from a shop or anything, just from a house. Uh, I think it was his uh, grandparents' house. I'm not too sure. We we nicked half a bottle of shots and we went outside and took the shots. And because it was our first time actually drinking and getting drunk, we thought it'd be a good idea to camp out because we thought our parents would be able to tell that we were pissed. We first started the night. We thought it was a good idea, but it really didn't ever end up that way at all because when we'd actually got pissed some of the things we were doing were absolutely bang out of order and a bit stupid so <laughs> one of the one of them was uh we were camping outside my house because we were badass um he said adam basically i need a shit basically and i basically said to that please can you just go in my house and he said no because i might wake your parents up and your parents might be able to tell i'm drunk and they might say something so I thought, okay, okay, what do, you, what do you want me to do? And he said, well, you've got a dog, haven't you? I said, yeah. And he goes, well, can you go get me some dog bags? I didn't like where it was going already. I really didn't. It was just, it was already, I could tell where it was going. And, have you got any kitchen roll? Yes. So he asks me to get this kitchen roll because he wants to go and shit down the back of my nana and granddad's favourite pub. So, after I go and get in this thinking, oh well, it's better than being woke up and found out for being drunk. We're both there, he proceeds to crouch behind the wall, ask me to keep watch and start taking a dump. So there's me, watching out for the bartender who I actually know quite well. And he, Josh is just sat there against his wall leaning with his bag piped up to his crack and trying to fucking shit in it. And ugh. He was trying to, he was trying to cover it up kind of, he just didn't really manage to, so he takes this shit, but I didn't want to hear what happened, because all I heard was like a clapping noise, like a little little thud and a little clap, and the words that followed just made me blood run cold and my face drop, it was, Adam, I've missed, he'd shat on the floor outside the door of my, fav my, my grandparents' favourite pub, he decided, oh yeah, it's a good idea, it's a good idea to uh, finish my shit. So he sat there, willingly, and finished his shit, without using the bag. He just put the bag in his pocket and thought, fuck it, and just proceeded to shit on the floor. Um, that was never, ever, ever a good idea, because afterwards he turns around to me and he looks at it like it's a marvel, like a spectacle, and I'm sat there like, you don't, you know what you're going to have to do now, are you? He's like, yeah, I'm going to sit here and marvel at it. I was like, no, Josh, you're going to have to pick it up. What now? He, that's what he said. He was like, "What?" I was like, "You're gonna have to pick it up, Josh." He's like, "You're having a laugh." I was like, "No." I mean, and Grand, I mean, I thought because being drunk, you get quite suspicious as well. I do anyway. Like being, I thought that my nana and Grand would come and see human excrement outside the pub and realise straight away that it was me and Josh. Well, Josh, but I had something to do with it. So I made him pick up his shit, and the initial plan. I said to him, I was right, we're going to have to go and throw it somewhere that nobody can find it so people don't know it's us. But I turned around and by the time I have actually finished that sentence, he th he's thrown it onto the actual bowling green that my nana plays on, like, plays balls on. And he just starts, he just burst out laughing and I was sat there in utter disgust trying not to laugh, to be honest. But 
basically the next day I was on my nana's for a brew and I and like she, I went over after she played balls and she was like oh my goodness Adam you should have seen it there was some bloody horrible shit all in a bag and it was all oh someone had thrown shit onto the bowling green and the bag had actually split some people are absolute animals aren't they I was like yeah bastards nana Jesus Christ that's horrible that she still doesn't know that was us another couple of drunken stories I've had that a lot of them have been with Josh because he just is a genuine idiot. Like, he is genuinely one of the fucking most idiotic people you will ever meet. Like, literally, I've never ever known somebody to burn himself on an egg fryer and kiss his own hand better. I've never so known somebody climb through a kitchen roof for a Nutella sandwich. I've never actually known anybody so idiotic yet funny. Literally, I've never actually known anybody skate down a hill, well, sledge down a hill into a puddle of pig shit and get up thinking it was mud. I just haven't. Crying for his mum. Well, he wasn't crying, he was just on the way down, he was screaming for his mum. But, um, yeah, Josh is one of them people that you can sit and laugh at for hours on end. Uh, so, yeah. Don't do things you shouldn't do, like drink, or drugs. I've never done drugs.